it's talked about frequently that like, like you, you take a part of somebody for that. And that, that's, that's true, because it, it felt like there was a part taken for me that just was not there. And I, I definitely had to battle trying to get that, that part of me back. Perpetrators tend to start small, you know, sort of steps, which begin with offering attention and gifts over a period of time, it may be a couple of months, it may be a couple of weeks, they will continue to provide attention, gifts to that child, while at the same time ramping up the sexualized behavior to the point where they start engaging in oral sex, anal sex, that type of thing. So that will happen and typically those young people are not comfortable in those situations and they don't like it, but they're too afraid to object to it. First of all, this person is much larger and stronger than they are. Second of all, they realize that a lot of people, if they reported this, would likely not believe them, which is exactly what happened to Aaron Fisher, victim one in the Sandusky scandal. When did you first meet Jerry Sandusky? Um, it had been, who, oh, like third grade. And then when I first told the school what was going on, I was in ninth grade. They didn't come right out and say, like, we don't believe you, but it was kind of implied. It, it didn't go, I guess, how we were always taught it was gonna go. You go to an officer, you, you go, go, go to the police, and then they will take care of it, and then it's just, it's done and over, you don't have to worry about it. No, it, 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 it took a lot longer than what I had originally thought it was going to. And, you know, I, each time I was promised that it was going to get done at this date, it was going to get done at this date, we're going to make an arrest this date, we're going to do this this date. That date came and went, that date came and went, so. You know, he had initially told his principal and guidance counselor, they, they scolded him, told him he was lying, these are mandated reporters, they told him he was lying and he needed to go home and sleep on it and think about the repercussions of making such outlandish lies about a man with a heart of gold. I would like them to kind of not fully put themselves in a child's shoes, but enough to take a couple steps to realize what they're going through. I mean, it's, it's, was, it's not an easy thing for a child to come out and say that this happened, let alone have to deal with it for a good portion of their early adult where you're supposed to be shaping the child years. With everything that happened and everything that he did, I mean, it's talked about frequently that like you, you take a part of somebody for that. And that, that's, that's true, because it, it felt like there was a part taken for me that just was not there. And I, I definitely had to battle trying to get that, that part of me back. Um, and be completely honest, I'm not 100% saying that that part's like fully back yet, but I mean, I've noticed that I've started more so breathing easier. Um, it's just kind of, it's all starting to come back to where, you know, I can more so fully be who I am and how I like to be you know, hanging out with friends, you know, I'm more, I'm more open to talk about the things now than I was then. Um, you know, having conversations and, you know, um, even with uh, dating and, you know, uh, girlfriends and whatnot, like being able to communicate with them the things that I went through became a lot easier than, than what it was, you know, four, five, six, ten years ago. So it's, it's kind of one of those things where um, as, you're, as kids are growing up, there's always, you know, the, the boogeyman in the closet, you know, the, the, the clown under the bed, you know, different, different stuff like that that they're, that they're scared of. Um, and as they get older, like myself, that as I got older, you, you start to not be afraid of them anymore. Like you, you start to, 
more tell yourself that, you know, either they don't exist or that, you know, you're just not afraid of them anymore. Um, I do still feel that he is 100% a monster for what he's done. But at the same time, I'm not afraid of him anymore. <laughs>